Call all you like Yahweh by Shemel Shabbat Shem Kokodash. All praises on and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shabbat Shem Kokodash and giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone who well, peace and salutation to the elect, first fruits, the prophets, the 144,000 who have been bestowed this truth, the priests to the rest of the remnant of the elect, whom are all Israelites, who will repent to the Lord. Heavenly Father, men, women, and children who are going to repent to the Lord and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and, and you know, be under the virtues of the way we're supposed to live. So, Shimei Amapa is Amapa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, and this is located here in Philadelphia, coming with a just a response video to this. So, this has been a topic on my heed um, for quite a bit. And, you know, you have instances within your own life. And, you know, you actually go and see with other people's lives. Because you can do that now because everybody's a YouTuber. And um, YouTube, hey, you know, it allows us to, you know, be able to. You know, be on the other side of the world and uh, learn from other people's experiences. And it's caught on video, live and direct. So, you have King Riches, this uh, particular YouTuber, um, King Riches, which, um, you know, he, he makes a lot of, you know, good videos. He's uh, real practical, um, real down to earth. And he's from London, I believe his family go back to... Um, Nigeria, he's a, definitely an Israelite, okay, and um, like Israelite foreigner, right? Um, and you know, he he talks about the whole um, relationship between men and women, and how like a lot of times, or how it's really set up. It's a, it's really a matriarchic setup because you know, woman is set up and. Uh, esteem over above the man and uh, men are really not really valued for what they truly are you know and you have it that there's some men that are set up into elevation but at the end of the day a lot of these men that are called men they're not really men okay because they're not warriors okay um, that have been tested in the truth of the Lord, okay, because um, when you come into the truth, you know, you go through uh, much temptations, you know, trying, you go through refinement, and, um, you know, you build the character that the Lord is molding, and uh, refining all of those impurities, those uh, bad ways, um, as you strive for the masteries, and you get that image of you, how was shy, we are the envoys or ambassadors for. But, um, you know, you have it where, you know, we are alive and we're living and we're amongst this world. And, you know, you have it where, as the scriptures does say, that, um, I'll get it real quick. In the book of Genesis... Chapter 2 and 18, it says, The Lord Yahweh power said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. Okay? And then you have the creation of Eve. Alright? <clears throat> and, um, she's supposed to be a Izar. Which is a help, a support, succors, one who help. But, you know, and most don't want to do that. Instead, they want you to be their, you know, the 100% help. But they don't reciprocate, you know, what you're given. And, um, you know, you come to a conclusion where it's just like a lot of this is a complete waste of time. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, uh, a lot of these chicks, yes, 
outright have a uh, distorted reverse way of thinking where a man for being proper well natured and you know he got the virtues of the scriptures is not looked at as being a man all right and it's a turn off for most of these women to you know have a man of structure you know, in this in the capacity of being a man, like I said a man of the Lord you have it where you got guys. This guy is fitting the over six foot. You know, he got the, you know, I think he got braids in his heat. You know, he got muscles and they still don't like him. So it's like, you know, don't be sitting there so concerned about appeasing the woman. Okay, because they're deep spiritually. Um, being not sober, you know, and they have all of this liberty. So King Riches goes on an infield approach to a bunch of women. And, hey, from the jump, they already don't even want to deal. So King Riches, um, I'm doing a reaction. And, you know, I'm hoping that this is not a offense to you. I cover this video more so a benefit. Was serious. You having a good day? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing okay, good. What's your name? Bye. Huh? Bye. Cause I, I want to be friendly. I'm so. I think she she might have said bye. What's your name? Bye. And like a lot of these women are just straight out outright out of order. Okay. Outright out of order. They're not even women, these are just girls. Sociable. I'm not allowed. You're not allowed. <laughs> Why? Like, I look familiar. You think so? <laughs> I, 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 do, I do stuff online sometimes, yeah. But why do you say you're not allowed? What's wrong? <laughs> you're not boyfriend. Oh, okay, alright. I'm not, I'm not a, like, uh, what's it, a home wrecker, innit? So. I'll leave you to it, yeah? Alright, have a good day, yeah? Keep. Which is cool. You know? You know, we, uh, uh, you know, promote adultery. If a woman has a man, you know, they call him boyfriend these days for some of them. You know, that's off limits. A lot of them do lie, but there's no reason to pursue the lie. You know, she just don't, you know, want to deal with you but uh you know it's a bunch of confusion you know the woman's nature itself is chaotic okay it tells you Ecclesiastes I think that is It says the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman. Okay, and Solomon searched to set so he knows and he put down the wisdom for us to learn as the scriptures are written for our learning. Whose heart is snares and nets. Okay, you have the snares, which the snares are the matazawad, yum, snares plural, from matazawad. Goes into strongholds, seas. Wait, did it say stronghold? Yeah, stronghold, seas works. Bulwark, defensive wall. Okay. And nets, karamium. A thing de 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 uh, devoted, appointed to destruction, her hands. And a woman could destroy you through her power, okay? And what she has within her, which a lot of times that power is, well, that top power most women are get harnessing is on the left-hand side. And it's uh, witchcraft because the sin of rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, okay? 
you gotta watch out and you know if she going aside from the law says command she's a kasha or um what's that yeah i think that's what it is a witch kasha Just double check that in Hebrew. Yeah, cuss shop, pardon me. Cuss, cuss shop, which is a witch. One who practice sorcery and use witchcraft. Okay? They practice magic. Alright, most common day women, they are into witchcraft. Straight out. Alright? It's a spell itself if they, you know, wear a wig and, you know, put themselves in pants and, um... They, um, you know, display themselves as what they really not. You know, it's fake. It's, it's not true. It's disingenuous. You know? And, hey, in this world, it's like we have to come to accept something that's disingenuous. Like, come on. So, um, you know, you have it where this guy, you know, hey, he wasn't even given a shot. Even if they weren't married, he they would never got him a shot. I'm going to keep going. Riches. Yay, that's good, that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say hello too quickly. And uh, you have a boyfriend? Oh, you got a boyfriend? Alright, cut. Hello, how you doing? Waste of time. Thank you. You alright? What's your name? I'm Jay. Oh? Yeah. That's very unique. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, area in London. Oh, it's Surrey. Surrey. Okay, alright, what are you up to now? Oh, alright, alright, alright. Well, like, you look nice and everything. Thank you. And I uh, thought that I'd like to see you again some other day. Would that be alright? No, you're not so much. Ah, okay. No worries. Alright, yeah. no worries. Take care. Man. I don't even know what you said. Up but... in, uh, oh, this, is this is Regent Street right here. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. No, but you're looking nice and obviously, I want to see you again, innit? Is that good? Um, no, I'm actually speaking to someone. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you see it's a general waste of time. He said he got rejected by 100 girls. So you can watch this out. As he came to the conclusion, he said rejection is a part of life. And I'm here to show you that it's not the end of the world. See how to handle. I handle rejection with humor in, in this raw video, basically. Yeah, so. Yeah, but a lot of men are tired of dealing with all of this nonsense. Okay, wasting time. A chick not even give a dude a chance and stuff like that. But they're not even a thing of value. Okay, they see themselves as the the, the valuable one. But um, I came obviously to the conclusion. Hey man, a lot of it is just a waste of time. You know, for us men of the Lord, yeah, you can get around with dealing with chicks that are unmarried. You know, uh, do what you got to do. But certain brothers, like I say, uh. It's just not good for, you know, really to be really running around wasting our time uh, with a lot of these chicks, you know, because remember, if her hands is as uh, bands, you know, and nets, yay, that's to, for destruction, man. So you got to watch out by her. A lot of men have run out of their wits for women and became servants for the sake, and a lot of dudes literally... Blew their brains out over a woman. And she's still living and breathing. So this is also 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 32. 1 Corinthians 7 and 32. But I will have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried, care for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Alright, understand that, man. Because that's who you're appeasing. You know, we are the bride and Yahweh Shai is the bridegroom. Okay, so, you know, uh, we're trying to please uh, the bridegroom, okay, by our works. And if you're unmarried, they care. You're free from anxiety. Why? Because you're just, uh, you know, a lot of you are single minded. You're focused on the truth. 
I single. No things belonging to the, the ministry, you locked in because you don't got a woman to really worry about, okay? Careth. Trouble with cares. All right, going on. But he that is married care for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. And hey, understand your woman is of the world, man. You know, she not of really. Uh, a lot of women are not of really following the Lord. Which ultimately, they will follow us because we are their Lord over them. Okay? Because the head of every woman is the man. The head of every man is the anointed one, Yahweh Shai. So, they should be trying to please us as we try to please the Lord. So, but he that is married care for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. You go to please, accommodate oneself to the opinions of desire and interests of, of others. All right? Hey, when you're not in them entanglements, hey, you, you don't have that much of a distraction. It's all on you. So, you know, definitely check out the video. I'm going to watch some of it. You know, it just gets annoying. But don't be mad at Chicks ain't trying to be with you. Alright. Especially in London. So, Shalom to the elect. Hey, brother, stay focused as we're on our purpose. Hey, Isaiah 4 and 1 will come to pass. Okay? Different precepts. Let's get in this world and the power. Then they will see. So, Shalom to the elect.